three tips on how to start or recommit to a successful weight loss program. Today on Mima McLiving Healthy. If you're interested, stay tuned. Hello, like I said in my intro, today's topic is three tips on how to start or recommit to a successful weight loss program. That sounds easy, doesn't it? But it's taken me about eight years to come up with what I think are the best three tips that we could use that I can apply to my own life. You see, yesterday I celebrated eight years of being on Weight Watchers. Now, as I said in my previous video, this wouldn't be much of a celebration if I was sitting here at the same weight that I was when I started back in 2014. You see, I weighed 213 pounds on that day. Now, yesterday, on January the 9th, 2022, I weighed in at 114 pounds even. That means from 2014 to 2022, I have lost a total of 99 pounds. Now, if that was easy, I wouldn't be sitting here making this video. The first nine months is when I lost the majority of that weight. But the rest of these seven and a half years almost is how I've learned to maintain the weight. Or if I gain some weight, which I've done twice during these eight years, how to lose that weight before it gets out of hand. You see, all these years before I started Weight Watchers, whenever I would lose weight, which I did many times, I'd gain it back, plus an extra 10 to 15 pounds. Well, this time was different, and I'll explain that in one of my tips. Now, these tips should work for you whether you're on Weight Watchers, whether you're calorie counting, whether you do eye track bites, or even keto. They're tips that anybody can apply to helping them to lose weight. Or like in my instance, I'm having to recommit because I went off the rails in December. It still happens, but I notice it now. I understand it now that I have to rein it back. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm recommitting you may be out there starting for the first time. If you are, I wish you all the luck in the world. But you can do this. It is doable and you have to believe it. Now, before we get started with all of the tips, I do want to say a little bit of a commercial. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing and press the notification bell under the picture. That's the way you'll get all of my videos. If you're interested in learning about food and about how you can have a successful long-term weight loss, that's what my channel is all about. It's to give you encouragement. It is to give you tips like today's video. So, Comment below and let me know what you are interested in seeing. And if you think anyone else would learn or benefit from these videos, please share it. Now let's get on to the tips. Let's start from the beginning with tip number one. Tip number one is you have to change the way you think about eating and food. That sounds simple, doesn't it? You know, 
I've talked uh, many times about changing your mindset. But as years have gone by, I realize that it's more than that. You have to change the way you feel or the way you think about food itself. I had always struggled with my weight since I was about 10 years old. And I realize now that food was a type of comfort for me. Food was my buddy. Food never judged me. Food never gave me a hard time about the way I looked. And so I had a skewed view of what food was really supposed to be. You know, there's a saying that says that you either live to eat or eat to live. And my way of life before I was 58 years old in 2014 was I lived to eat. When I would be making breakfast, I'd be thinking about what I was going to eat for lunch. When I would be eating lunch, I would be getting excited about what I was going to eat for supper. Now, I'm not saying I don't plan my meals ahead even today, but it's a different kind of feeling. I'm not eating to fill myself with joy, to make myself feel better. I'm eating because I'm either hungry or I feel like if I don't eat right now, I may get hungry and overeat. Food is not the most important thing in my life anymore. And I'm so glad it's not. I know that I see things in a different way. I see people in a different way. I see my faith in a different way than I used to when food was all encompassing for me. And I still struggle that I have to think differently about food and the way I eat. And it's something that I have to do probably weekly because if I don't, I will find myself falling into that same category that I always was in, that I was excited about food, that I relished every time I thought about chocolate. I don't anymore. I still like chocolate, but it's not the end all of everything for me. You know, I talk about it a lot on this YouTube channel, but I'm only doing that to share the information I've learned over these eight years. So once again, number one, change the way you think about eating and food. Now tip number two is going to sound very similar, but it is different. You have to change the way you eat. Now when I say that, what do you mean, Mima? change the way you eat, you have to put it in your mouth, right? Well, that's true. But before I started Weight Watchers, I would eat whatever and whatever amounts I wanted to. And many times I would eat so much that I would feel sick. I would be overfull. Not just full, but so full that I thought I might throw up. When I started Weight Watchers eight years ago, I began to realize how much I was eating. When I had to track, I began to realize that instead of eight ounces of steak, like I was eating all the time, I needed to eat somewhere between three and four ounces. And that was plenty. I mean, I'm a woman. I'm five, three and a half. I don't need eight ounces of steak. 
But because of the way our culture was, when we'd go out to eat, I would get a big plate of food. Not that I necessarily ordered it. That's what the restaurant brought. And so I thought, oh, well, gosh, I'm supposed to eat that amount. No, I realize now that half of what I was eating is plenty enough for me. Tip number two, change the way you eat. Whether you eat smaller meals, maybe some snacks, but you spread it out. You don't eat large quantities at the same meal. You just don't. <laughs> okay, we finally made our way to tip number three. Tip number three has changed over all the other videos that I used to make about giving tips about losing weight because that tip was always specifically about Weight Watchers. This one's different. For me, tip number three is the most important. They all three go together, but tip number three is something we all have to finally come to understand. We have to look at however we eat, at however we are having success maintaining as a long-term commitment. If you do like I did probably in my 20s and 30s, I would think, well, I'll go on a diet for about six months and lose what I need to lose, and then I'll go off on a binge again. Now, I didn't actually think that, but that's what I would do. Within two to three months, after working so hard on those other six months to lose the weight, I'd gain it back. So if I have not learned anything these last eight years, I've learned that it's a long-term commitment. You know, I've heard people say over and over again, I can't lose weight, I'm too old. I, I just can't, can't do it. I've gone through the change, so I can't do it. I was 58 years old when I started Weight Watchers. And I lost it. If you're 58, if you're 38, if you're 88, you can do this. But you have to look at it as a long-term commitment. I, I hate to use the word love, but I can't think of anything else. I love the size that I am right now. I hope that when I am laid in the ground, I will still be somewhere close to this size. All throughout this video, I have posted some pictures of myself as all the different sizes that I've been. You see, for about 45 years, I struggled with my weight. And it went all the way from as an adult, when I got married, I weighed about 125 or 130 pounds. For the majority of my adult life, I weighed about 155 to 165 pounds. But then right before I started Weight Watchers, I weighed 213. So see, it has to be a long-term commitment or I'll be facing those 213 pounds again. Or I might just be facing 155 pounds again, but I don't wanna face that. I wanna be in a healthy weight range the rest of my life. So let's put all three of those tips together. Change the way you think about eating and food. Change the way that you eat the food. And look at this as a long-term commitment. That is a sure fire way to where you will have success long-term. Hope you'll have a wonderful week. Goodbye.